What would you like your jewellery to be wrapped? <gasps> oh, um, little box, lovely paper and a ribbon that I can reuse. Right, OK, well, <laughs> well, he's got some that's been wrapped in Channel Island mud for 2,000 years and it's been washed with a little bit of seawater. Mm. Any good? I'll take anything with a big boa. <laughs> Jersey, known for its potatoes and its cows. But three years ago, it also became known for something quite extraordinary when two local men stumbled across the find of their lives, the largest haul of Celtic coins in history. In 2012, Matt Allwright reported on the find, and now that the real treasure is beginning to be revealed, we've come back. So, Neil, what's happened over the last three years since we last saw you? We've been removing coins uh, pretty solidly for almost 18 months now, and we've taken off about 30,000. So nearly halfway? About 40% of the way through, and in doing that, we've discovered th this gold jewellery. Because the thing is actually too thick to x-ray, we only find objects by removing coins. I mean, you'll work for a morning and then someone will just go, oh, we've got some goals, or we've got a leaf, or I can see something and it turns out to be a millipede. I mean, we, we don't know day to day what we're going to find. I'm like a kid at Christmas. My temptation is just rip it out. <laughs> but you can't do that. Obviously, you've got no, to be very delicate No, with it. I mean, we have to record every bit of information we can get. As we just carried on removing the top, we found a talk, we found a second one, and then a third. Just had these fantastic uh, pieces of gold jewellery in it. If you asked us the most 10 most important things, you know, some of them would be the remains of some textile uh, things of no financial worth at all, but of just huge importance to actually sort of telling the story of, of, of the object. Are you any closer to, to finding out who this belonged to? About 99% of the coins belong to Coriosoliti tribe. Pretty sure of the date, 30 to 40 BC or so. People think this was an offering to the gods, a scrap metal hoard. Perhaps there was a battle coming up and they wanted to hide this. We may get more idea of that when we can get back into the field and do a full survey then. It's now estimated the treasure is worth £10 million. Not that Richard and Reg will get much of that. No temptation at all to take None any? None at all. Honestly? It's, it, honestly and truly, no. It's owned by the Crown. Um, it's not owned by us or the States of Jersey. And at some point, discussions will then take place as to what's going to happen. It's sort of got a soul of itself. And I think the local people, I'm sure, would love it to stay here intact. The find has become somewhat of a spectator sport, with local people coming to see what's been uncovered. How special is it to be here today to, to watch what's happening? I'm a Jersey girl, and this is like... Uh, one of the most incredible things that's happened on the island, I suspect. I'm just interested to see how it progresses, how it unfolds. And every, every now and again, they discover a little bit more. Yeah. And a little bit more. And today, how lucky are we? We've just turned up to see this. So there you go. That's uh, a crushed half talk section. There you go. There you go. You're, you're the first person to see the bottom of that in two, 2,050 years. Over 2,000 years. Why do you keep returning? Why is it so special to you? What a fascination of seeing every bit being, being sort of dug out. We've been coming almost every week, haven't we? Yeah. A lot has been learned over the last three years, but with a similar amount of coins still to go, I think it's going to be quite some time until we unlock all the secrets of the Jersey Hall. He's going to need a big box for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much so. Yes. Uh, so, Eddie, I mean, you are still very much on tour. We mentioned at the top of the